COVID-19 is here. In its train, it has brought many troubles, one of them being uncertainty, lack of hope, perennial questions without answers, like how long? And my question is, what is the attitude that a believer in God should take in the midst of this pandemic? Thank you, Elder Bahati. Let's go to the Bible. James reminds us in such a time what is written. Sure. And everything we need to do is it has to be referred to the Bible. Mm -hmm. Let us open our Bibles Please. in the book of James, James chapter 4, verses 13 and 14. I read from New International Version, mm -hmm. Elder. Now listen, you who say today or tomorrow we will go to this and that, city spend a year there spend two years there carry on business and make money why you do not have you do not even know what will happen tomorrow what is your life you are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes hmm. elder this is very powerful Sometimes we plan ahead of God. Look at the event that is uh, uh, happening now. Mm -hmm. Our lives are now in a certain time. But one thing is certain and sure. We need to lie in God. Mm -hmm. Through all our uh, uh, struggles and uh, trials we are expecting, God is still in control. Mm -hmm. What we have uh, forgotten is that our Lord who knows us better than ourselves, he knows every moment. And many times we lie on ourselves, forgetting that we have a master who is there to protect us, to lead us, and even to promote us. From where is our strength coming, Elder? Mm. The strength comes from the Lord, like you read from the Bible. It comes from the Lord. Mm -hmm. Many people are experiencing mental health. Right now, abuse, violence, it is in our midst. Mm -hmm. Do you know that murders have also increased? Mm -hmm. Where parents are killing their children? Just yesterday, mm -hmm. we heard that a, a parent killed his, his two children one year, and three years old, all this is because we are living in the last day. They are depressed. They are depressed. Mm. And at this moment, kids want to go back to school mm. so that they may, have, uh, they may find uh, safe places because they are bored mm. in their homes. We need to look at Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. As the Bible tells us, so that we may find rest but also strength. And we need to claim God's promises. Which are always available. Available. That is what we have forgotten. Mm -hmm. As believers, we need to make a difference, Elder. We don't need to think as those who do not know God. The Bible tells us everything that we need to hold on to Jesus. And Jesus will hold on to us. Mm -hmm. Whatever we do, God knows. He knows everything. That's why I will again invite you to read Philippians. Mm -hmm. Philippians chapter 4. I like it. I like it. And verse 13. Let's just read Philippians uh, chapter 4, Elder, and verse 13. I read it in New International Version. I can do everything through him who gives me strength? Mm. Whatever I do in this COVID-19, I do it through Jesus Christ. When I hold on Christ, Christ Jesus, he will give me the strength. I need to live for Christ. When I eat, let me eat for Christ. When I speak, 
Let me speak for Christ when I share whatever I do, even in my family. The way I behave with my husband, the way I behave with my children has to reflect Christ in me. As believers, let us plan to connect with him by doing what? By reading our Bibles mm. every day. If I have never read my Bible, this is the time. Amen. I need to read my Bible every day, elder. I need to be a prayer woman, prayer warrior. We are in a fight with the devil. Whatever happens, the devil wants to tell us that you will, ne you will not make it. Dear viewer, God is reminding you that you need to focus on him. I need to have a positive thinking. Mm. Living well, thinking well. I need to share the word of God with those who don't know it so that it strengthens me. I need to be kind. Mm -hmm. I need to share whatever I have with people. Doing something kind for someone else, it helps me even to value myself elder. Mm -hmm. And also, I need to be compassionate. We have forgotten it, that we live for others. Whatever I have. Do you know that there are people who need food while I have food in my home? As a believer, as a Christian, I need to make a difference. I need to share whatever I have. God wants everyone to be like him and share his truth, elder. Be part of the message that brings hope to people. Hold on to Jesus and Jesus will hold on to you. Dear viewer. Time has come for you to make a difference. You are a viewer. No matter whatever you are going through, read your Bible. It will instruct you. It will shape you. It will strengthen you. Pray without ceasing. You may want it. You may accept it or not. But this is the truth. Jesus is coming soon, elder. We need to be ready. We need to make a difference. Amen. And God will bless us even more than what we deserve. Amen. Thank you, Mrs. Maloba, for those precious germs. They are practical and for sure they will help our dear viewer to keep on moving. And my friend, we needed these practical advice from, you know, the Bible following the information that we have gathered from the biblical and theological perspectives in this time of lockdown. Thank you once again for being with us. May hope and healing abound in you. See you then. <music>